You want to learn about what is first touch and last touch attribution and why you should care about and also how you can capture both of the parameters and implement them in your lead form and capture them simultaneously. Then stick around. Welcome to Dr. UTM Lab. Today we're going to talk about first touch and last touch attribution. So before we get there, I have some demo set up. So this is my demo website. We're going to practice on this demo site. And I have pretty basic uh, contact form. It looks like this. So to illustrate it very simply, I'm just going to focus on UTM campaign. Okay, let's get started. So this is our form. I'm going to start adding UTM campaign. We'll just keep it very brief very simple it will be smooth like butter so we have two parameters we added besides name email we have two hidden parameters utm campaign and first utm campaign saved it let's include them in the email as well Let's label them. This is last touch campaign. And this is first touch. What? Okay. That's literally it. That's how much it takes to set it up. It's very easy. This can be implemented in any form, but here we illustrate in contact form seven because it's really easy to set up. So let's reload this page. Our page looks like this. Okay, so in order to il illustrate this, I have two links here. First of all, I'm gonna go with the first one and then I'm gonna click the second link later on. So this basically demonstrate your user is coming from one campaign and after, let's say, you know, uh, 25 days later, they're coming back to your site from totally different campaign. And the idea here is you want to capture both of the campaigns. In some marketers, the first touch is important than the last. According to other marketers like me, last attribution is more important. Okay, let's get started. So before we start, I'm going to kill all the cookies first. Perfect. I'm going to close this to website at the top. Now let's click here. All right, so this is our first touch. Obviously, let's say, you know, we checked around, we clicked around, let's simulate a normal user behavior. And then for some reason, we didn't oh. like it and then close the website. And then after 25 days later, much, much, much later, I came back to website from totally different campaign. Okay. Again, I navigated through this time. I liked it. So I'm ready to convert. Let's put my information here. Submit. Okay, this is successfully submitted. I'm gonna receive an email. Just gonna bring it up here. As you can see here, my first touch is my first campaign. Last touch campaign Yay. is the, my last campaign. So everything is expected. So we were expecting to capture the same thing here. That's what we got. So both of the data has been captured successfully. Okay, mission accomplished for the first one. Let's demonstrate uh, another scenario. Let's say this time there are three visits. First one is coming from my first campaign. The second visit is coming from the second campaign. And the third visit is coming from my last campaign. In this scenario, what we expect is the first UTM campaign will pick up the first one. And the last touch, last touch campaign will pick up the last one. So what happened mm -hmm. to the middle one? So the middle one is not going to be captured what? because it's too many data, too many touch points. Because here user can visit your website endless time, hundred time. Then, you know, what you need to capture is only the first and last touch. So this is our expectation. Okay, let's demonstrate that. Before we do that, like usual, we're gonna kill all the cookies. Let's click this link first. This is our first touch. We can again navigate. And you know what? I didn't like this. I'm just, just gonna close and move on. After certain days, this could be uh, hours, days, weeks, years, it doesn't matter. The same lead will come to your site again from another campaign. And then they will navigate it again. again. 
and then for some reason their session is interrupted before conversion they're gonna close this tab again so after some time later they're gonna come back to your website the third time they navigate they click around and this time they are ready to convert let's put our information here testing first middle last touch this time and let's submit wait for the email my first touch campaign is my first campaign last touch campaign is my last campaign again mission accomplished you capture the data first and last touch this is how is easy to implement it with UTM grabber you can get started very easily just grab version 3 and the setup is very easy. We demonstrated in uh, Contact Form 7. It applies to any single forms out there in WordPress and I mean it. Thanks for watching.